What happens when you wrap a fruit roll up around a scoop of ice cream? Hi guys, look at you here, and I have yet to go grocery shopping, so let's check out Miku's supermarket. Oh, wait, both vanilla ice cream and fruit roll ups are on sale? Wee oui, wee, oui, only a dollar each. Then today we will be trying the viral fruit roll up ice cream trend all over TikTok. Supposedly, if you wrap fruit roll ups with a scoop of ice cream, it'll turn crunchy. <sighs> And I have yet to try this out, so let's see for ourselves. Let's get two boxes so we can try different flavors. And we're gonna go with the first box, the Jolly Rancher flavors. And it has watermelon, uh, wait, watermelon with ice cream? OMG, I love watermelon. Me too, but I'm not really sure how it'll taste with vanilla ice cream. For those of you that don't know, a fruit roll-up is an edible and chewy sweet wrapper. Huh? Like e minum? <laughs> no, not M&M the wrapper. The other type of wrapper. Oh. It's sold as a fruit snack beside the peanut-free chocolate chip granola bars, but it's actually just candy. Oh yeah, and if you're having trouble unwrapping these, just pop them in the fridge for five to 10 minutes and it'll be much easier to unwrap. Hmm, let's guess what this flavor is. I think it's green apple. Really? I think it's watermelon. Oh, green apple. I guess Miku is a sous chef and a psychic now. This comes with little fruit faces stamped on top of it. And it's actually a tongue tattoo, so let's try it out. You basically just lay the stamped image on top of your tongue and keep it on for a couple seconds. And it should leave a tongue tattoo, so let's try it out. It didn't work. <laughs> It never works for me, I don't know why. Yeah, I didn't think this through. Now I have this uh, blue tongue. <laughs> and while we're here, Miku says to get this video to 150 likes so she can get rewarded with a scoop of vanilla ice cream for next video. While we're at it, let's try the fruit roll up. Very sour. And fun fact about me, I don't really like sour fruit, but I do love vinegar, so that I don't know, I'm weird like that. Now all we need to do is grab some ice cream and everyone is making this trend with vanilla ice cream. So that's what we're gonna use. Actually, it's French vanilla ice cream. So we're eating good today. Let's grab our ice cream scooper and we don't wanna scoop too much or else the fruit roll up won't be able to fully wrap around the ice cream. Place it into the center of the wrapper. Look at you, work quickly. Oh, Miku's right. We gotta quickly take each corner and bring it into the center of the ice cream ball so that all four corners connect together in the middle. If you don't work quickly, then the wrapper will freeze and it'll harden and crack when you try to wrap it around the ice cream. And now we have this gorgeous handheld green apple ice cream dumpling. And I'm super excited. First bite for you. Mm. Nom nom nom. Oh, green apple's very sour. <laughs> oh, this is too sour. I've never had sour ice cream. When you first take a bite, you get hit with that crunchy outer shell. Then you chew a little and you reach that nice and silky smooth and refreshing vanilla ice cream. Definitely crunchy. But as you chew, your mouth warms it up and it becomes chewy and it sticks to your teeth. I would definitely eat this flavor with vanilla ice cream because by itself is way too sour. Tastes like a Jolly Rancher green apple. On the Look at You scale, I rate this green apple and vanilla combo a five out of 10. I actually really like watermelon flavored candy, but I have yet to try watermelon with vanilla ice cream. So uh, we shall see if we like this flavor combo. You actually don't need to use vanilla ice cream. I know for a fact that a uh, mango or strawberry ice cream would actually go so well with this. I bet even chocolate ice cream would go well with this. It'll just taste like chocolate covered watermelon. Mmm, delicious. Okay, now let's try this watermelon one out. I am 
slightly nervous about this because um, watermelon and vanilla ice cream don't sound like a very good combo, but here goes nothing. I made that face because I have sensitive teeth. I don't like this flavor combo. <laughs> Why is this so sour? Jolly Ranchers, I don't remember Jolly Ranchers being this sour. I do like the concept though. Watermelon flavor, very perfumey, very fragrant. And I would rate this watermelon and vanilla ice cream flavor combo a 4.5 out of 10. And now for the tropical tie-dye flavor. Um, not sure what tie-dye tastes like, but it shows a picture of a peach, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, and black currant mixed into it. I'm really curious how all those combined flavors will taste. As usual, let's place the ice cream into the center of the fruit roll-up. And then we're gonna do a little wrappy wrap. We're gonna do a little rappy rap. And oh, look at this cute little tie-dye dumpling we have. I wanna hear some ASMR. Oh, okay. As you can see, very crunchy with the soft ice cream inside. I don't know why, but crispy crunchy sounds are always the most satisfying. Hopefully this is enough ASMR for you meeks. I'm excited now, so let's try out this tie-dye one. This one, I am the most excited about because I'm very curious what it tastes like, so. This is definitely my most favorite flavor. If you have sensitive teeth, it's gonna be pretty painful when you eat this. <laughs> yeah, tastes very tropical. Tastes like pineapple, banana, like fruit punch, basically. Mmm! Not only does this tropical flavor taste the best, it's also less sour than the green apple and the watermelon. So that's a plus. And on the look at you scale, I give this tropical tada vanilla ice cream flavor combo a nine out of 10. <gasps> Let me know in the comments if you've tried this fruit roll up ice cream hack. And I'll see you guys next time. A slice of pizza. Eat. This is Miku's first pizza. Delicious, right? And if you're still here, comment, Miku is a fruity roll-up to confuse everyone.